guys, Cha Chan here, or Triceratops, same person. Today's video, we are unboxing the final pizza cut I need for my collection, and that is Sukasi or Guido Anchovi as it's known in the English dub. I recently unboxed Polly in a previous video. Well, there's not much to say while I'm in Triceratops, so let's just desuit and open this box that you can't see because it's not in the frame. <laughs> okay, let's get unboxing. This just arrived today. I didn't expect it to arrive today, but it did. I thought it was going to be another week at most. Or at least, I should say. <laughs> uh, but no, I was surprised when it arrived today. So as with the other two boxes, the box has nice art on it and uh, metallic text. And this is a sleeve that contains the box. And the boxes are just so nice, like we have like the pictures of the figure and more pictures of the figure. <laughs> I'll just quickly show each side of the box. And then the and there's the top. And the bottom. This box does have a little bit of damage from shipping, but that's okay. I'm not a box collector, but I do keep the boxes of Pizza Cats just because they are nice boxes. <laughs> One day I'd like to maybe display them, like alongside my figures, but I don't know if that will ever happen. Oh, the gun's upside down. There we go, now I can pull him out. And there he is! Oh, and of course, the instructions, which uh, I don't read because um, I'm not very smart. <laughs> I should probably read the instructions. Anyway, here we have Sukasi that I have been waiting a while to get. Uh, actually, the postage was pretty fast. I bought this from Robot Toy Base, again, like I bought Polly from, and it was posted a few days after I bought it, so like. I think I bought it on like a Thursday and it posted out on Monday, which is fine by me. Guido was actually my least favourite out of the three figures, but I wanted to get him just to, you know, finish my set. <laughs> there we go. Like last time, I'm not going to put the whole Goonie Bird together. Also, last time when I unboxed Polly, I called the Goonie Birds the Dooney Birds, and I don't know why, where I picked that up from. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to put the whole Goonie Bird together because it takes a while and I can't really be bothered. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, shoulder pad fell off. This happened with Polly as well, actually. I just need to his shoulder blade back on. There we go, shoulder blade back on. Uh, they are removable, so is the helmet. Let's see how well this one removes. I think I'm pulling his neck out actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling his neck out of his um, body, which I don't think is supposed to happen. But <laughs> I'm sure I can fix it. There we go. Oh wait, no, maybe it's not. It, I wasn't removing it, it's actually ball jointed at the neck, I think. Which is very cool. Because the other figures I don't think have a ball joint at the neck, so uh, his head can tilt side to side. Uh, as well as like, look up and down and side to side. Uh, I can't remember if the other two, Speedy and Polly, have like a ball jointed neck or not. Anyway, the helmet removes as the other figures remove as well, and then you can change the faces. Mine has a little bit of staining, I think, from the helmet on his cheek, but you know, that's fine. When the helmet's on, you don't see it. Uh, his helmet is quite a tight fit. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it back on without damaging him. It only scared me a little bit when it snapped back on. <laughs> it's a much tighter fit than Polly and Speedy's helmets are. It might just be from him being in storage, or it might just be how the figure is designed. But uh, this figure is much different from the other two. It's less shiny, this one's more a matte texture. Um, I'm not sure how I want to pose him, really. With Polly, I have her holding her little sword, 
uh, Speedy's positioned like he's going to pull out his um, magic sword I forgot the name of. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've watched some of the show. Um, but no, I do love the show, I just forget what things are called sometimes. <laughs> Uh, and I love these figures. Let's have a look at him closer to the camera. I love his face. It's just such a nice design. And this figure is actually the biggest one of the three, I think. He just stands a little bit taller. Nice paint job as well. Everything is looking nice and clean. Oh, I didn't realize he had like a slightly different back of the helmet look to him and his tail is uh, articulated as well, so he can move it about and stuff. Oh, st so I need to stay in frame, and <laughs> that would be a good thing to do. But I absolutely love how much thought they put into designing these figures. Like, they're so well jointed as well. Um, oh, uh, Guido has knee joints as well. I didn't realise he had knee joints. I thought that he was, um, I don't think Speedy has knee joints, but Polly and Guido do. That is so cool. And like, they hit them really well at the, I did not realise that Guido had jointed feet, no, not feet, uh, knees. <laughs> he does have jointed feet though, his feet do swivel around and they're on a ball joint, which is cool. Their hands twist as well which is cool and they have changeable hands and they have an elbow joint as well which is a little bit stiff Guido's joints aren't as stiff as Polly and Speedy's are it's just how the figure is uh, you never really know if a figure is going to be like really stiff or not <laughs> but uh, this one is quite nice the joint stiffness is just right on this figure now Guido doesn't come with a sword as such, he comes with his little parasol umbrella. It, it's more of a parasol than an umbrella, but I mean, he does technically come with a sword because look at that! That is so cool, I love it. These figures were just so well thought out and designed and oh, I love them. Just all the little intricate pieces that love these figures so much. All the thought and the detail that went into them, it's so good. And he also comes with the tiniest little kunai or throwing knife I've ever seen. Just look how tiny that is. It's so tiny but it's adorable and really cool. Like with the other cats, Guido also comes with three extra mouth and eye pieces. So we have a smiling one, an angry one or an open mouth one depending on what eye combination you do it with. And a grinning one, which could also be an angry one if you do it with angry eyes, I guess. <laughs> As for eyes, we have the angry eyes, these half-closed looking sideways eyes, and these closed eyes. Both Speedy and Polly had two little pegs on the eyes to plug into the mouthpieces, but Guido only has one peg and one hole on the back of the mouthpieces. And I will say that uh, the paint job is really good. I think it's, uh, my speedy paint job isn't the best, I don't think, I mean, it's, it's good, don't get me wrong. They are great, um, but there are a couple of flaws in paint jobs on these figures, which is fine by me. I mean, you still get what you pay for. We also have three extra pairs of hands, so we have the open hands, the little pointing hand, and the hands that mean he can hold items like his sword and kunai. I'm not going to get this out, but you can see in the box here that he does come with a proper parasol with a handle. You know what I mean, he can hold this parasol if you want him to. I'm surprised they didn't make the parasol as two separate pieces. It seems like, I thought they would have. I thought they would have had like the big round disc and the stick, but they just did it as one piece. So that's interesting. You can see the Goonie bird in there looking good. Uh, I'm not gonna get it out because it takes forever to put together. <laughs> and uh, quite frankly, it scares me. 
it's a daunting task when you pay like a hundred plus pounds for a figure to then uh, take it all apart and stuff. I forgot to actually say that uh, the parasol holder clips into his back and uh, I haven't done it properly yet, I've just kind of lightly shoved it in because <laughs> I'm scared I don't want to break him. Um, but now there he is in all of his glory. He's a little bit out of focus but that's okay. <laughs> I do love his face, it's just such a nice paint job as well. His nose is a little bit like wonky around the edges but you can't really tell unless you're up close. <laughs> Honestly, I absolutely adore these figures and I'm so happy to have completed my set. I don't want to get the massive robot one, I just wanted the three cats so that's what I did. I eventually purchased all three cats. Well actually no, Speedy was a, a birthday gift <laughs> and uh, I bought Polly and Guido myself. Look, he can even stand by himself but I wouldn't recommend it because if he falls over and he gets scratched I will probably be a little bit sad. <laughs> Honestly, he was my least favourite figure out of the set from the pictures but now he's here in person. I love him. Just, oh, he's so nice. Like, as much as I love the Polly and Speedy figures, this one is like, it feels higher quality somehow. Uh, Polly's helmet, or at least the Polly that I have, the little um, side bits on her helmet were so fragile, I was terrified of breaking them. Like, I probably won't change her face very often. Um, Guido's helmet is just very tight, it might like expand out as it gets free of its box maybe, I hope. <laughs> Uh, Speedy's helmet is definitely the easiest to take on and off. I guess it just depends on the figure, like the individual figure. So like one Guido might have a difficult to remove and put back on helmet, whereas the other one might be fine. I'm not going to change his face for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to risk damaging it, and two, I have kind of long nails. I mean, they're shorter right now because I just... Uh, file them down but uh, with my long nails it's really difficult to get the faces changed like clipping the mouth and the eyepiece together with the long nails not a good idea I don't want to risk damaging my uh, expensive little cat figure <laughs> so we're not doing much today I'm just kind of unboxing him and uh, gushing about how much I love him and there he is I'm gonna get the stand out and we'll have a look at that too That was the wrong bit of tape. <laughs> I need to cut these bottom bits of tape here. When I was unboxing Polly, I forgot that there were four bits of tape to cut. The same with Speedy, actually. I didn't realise there were four bits of tape to cut. <laughs> but this time, I remembered. There we go. Oh, and I should put the knife away so I don't accidentally hurt myself or scratch the figure. Mostly worried about scratching the figure. I would not want to do that. <laughs> oh no, I'm losing pieces. You know what? There we go. Not gonna lie, these stands confuse me. I don't know where any of these pieces go. Mostly because I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> um, now let's figure out how... Oh, is that so it can clip around there? Oh, that's smart. Oh, that's a good idea. If this works how I think it's supposed to work, uh, this bit is to go around the parasol holder so that you can have the parasol on his back while he's on the stand. I wondered how that was going to work because um, Otherwise, that's the bit that uh, this little hexagon would probably go in. Yeah, I'm right, that, that hexagon would go in there otherwise. Um, but that's also where his parasol goes, so you know, it's like choosing which one you want to have. <laughs> um, but no, I think they have a good work around there. So, uh, this would go in one of these. And then I would put, I'm going to take the parasol out there, 
and then I'd put the parasol holder in his back, I think. Please don't take this as a tutorial. I am just trying my best to figure out how to put this little cap together because uh, I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> Is that even the right way to do it? I don't know if that's even like the right way to do this. If it doesn't feel secure, I will just display him uh, without the parasol and I'll just have the uh, this bit in his back. But you know, I may as well try this. Uh, he's gonna live on my uh, work desk for a little bit, so I don't want to accidentally damage him. <laughs> okay, now how does this work? That's gonna need to. Can that sort of like rotate or something? It can, it rotates, that's good. Oh, like I said, I should leave the little parasol out until I have gotten him in the stand. are a little bit strange. Uh, I mean, they designed them how they saw best, but I do think they are a little bit strange. But you know, they do their job, they hold the figures, and uh, that's somewhat secure. <laughs> Not really secure, but um, no. And then his little parasol would go in there, and there he is, all put together. Oh, I love him so much. I thought I was going to be not as happy with him as a figure, but I adore this figure so much. I'm so happy I decided to buy him. When I got Speedy, I was like, okay, I also want Polly, but I was like, do I really want Guido? And yes, I did. I really wanted this cat, apparently, because oh my gosh. Back when I ordered Polly, I was just so excited. That video where I opened Polly, I was too excited and I was just all over the place. Also, I just finished work. I'm recording this video during my work day, but you know, I'm self-employed. I can afford to take like half an hour off to unbox a figure, you know? <laughs> but no, I decided to do this video during the day when I'm not all like hyper and tired at the same time, so I'm a little bit chill in this video. Also, I wasn't as excited for this figure, but now I have him, I adore him so much. Just. Oh, I'm so happy I bought him. Uh, did I mention I bought him from Robot Toy Base, which is a wonderful site. That's where I bought Polly from as well. Uh, I got Speedy as a gift and I know he came from eBay, but anyway, <laughs> I bought Polly and Guido from Robot Toy Base and honestly, wonderful site in my opinion. Their customer service is really good too, I think, because I, I did contact them when I was ordering Polly because, you know, Polly was a bit more expensive than Guido. I paid £105 for Guido. He was like, what, $120, I think? Um, but no, he's like £105. That was including postage, so pretty cheap for one of these figures. Uh, I usually see them on eBay for about £200, £150, £200, so pretty good price. Thank you, Robot Toy Base. I will leave a link to Robot Toy Base down in the description because wonderful site, especially if you like robot, like mechas. I'm not so into it myself, but they are really cool, so link in the description to that. I'm not sponsored. I <laughs> uh, wish I was, but you know, I'm not sponsored by them. Just think they are a cool site. Maybe one day far in the future I'll do a video putting together the Goonie Birds of all three as either one video or separate videos, but you know, that's just me speculating for the future. Uh, I'd love to display all of my figures, like the, the three pizza cats, as well as my other various figures <laughs> in a cabinet at some point, but uh, my current cabinet is full of my taxidermy stuff, so there's no, no room in that. Uh, so I'd like to buy like a little glass cabinet, like an Ikea one, and put this in there with the others and everything else. <laughs> uh, problems of a collector. Well, I have to go and reorganize my desk so I can include this lovely lad in my setup. 
So I'm gonna start signing off now. Here's some clips of them all together with Speedy and Polly and Guido finally. <laughs> Honestly, so happy I decided to buy him. He is a wonderful figure. And I love how articulated these figures are as well. You don't see many figures like this that are so articulated and detailed. They kind of remind me of Nendroids, but slightly different. And each one is just so incredibly well sculpted and the joints that they decide where to put them and all the little detail. Everything about these figures, absolutely love them. Well, I'm going to go before I keep rambling, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts and it's not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one, and bye! I just put everything back in the box and then I turn around and I see this. The one little piece that I missed. I'll put it back in now. <laughs>